It's a scene we've shown you way too many times recently. Police officers from across Colorado and the nation in a slow procession this afternoon, escorting the body of police officer Garrett Swayze from his funeral through the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs campus, where he worked, to the cemetery where he will be buried. Swayze was one of the three people killed in the shooting at a Springs Planned Parenthood office one week ago today. Denver 7 reporter Brendalise Gonzalez was at this afternoon's service in Brendalise. These memorials are always emotional. They really are, Eric, and as you can see behind me, the flags remain at half staff here outside of the church. But despite the sadness expressed today, there are also moments of laughter as family and friends remembered the happier times and their favorite memories of Officer Swayze. In sacrificing his life for others, he has forever altered the lives of everyone here. An American flag covered the casket of the officer now known around the nation for what he did before his death. I don't know what happened. I can't tell you what happened. I've seen where he laid, but I know he gave it his best. Friends and family, even those who didn't know him, like Governor John Hickenlooper. I'm proud, proud to live in a, a state where people like Garrett Swayze, where, where they help create the community that we sometimes take for granted. Came to honor Officer Garrett Swayze, the first officer at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs campus to die in the line of duty. Your courage will stay with me forever, helping my heart continue to grow. Stephen Swayze described his uncle's courage through a poem. My heart so hurt, to top it off, you had to go, just so you know, die a national hero. His sister, I have to bury my little brother today. Spoke of how he was always there to help her as a single mom. I could not have asked for a better role model. Then there's his wife. I have been more overwhelmed this week by love and by sadness. Who summed up her husband's biggest legacy words. in two words, Elijah and Faith, the names of their two children. Even those who didn't fit inside the church where his memorial service was held stood outside with flags, honoring the man who put his life on the line trying to save others. The love of my life gave his life without regret. And officers from around the nation came out here to pay their respects. And everyone who spoke about Officer Swayze, who knew him personally, said they know if he were given the choice, knowing the outcome, he still would have gone out to the Planned Parenthood building that day last week to help. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Brendalise Gonzalez, Denver 7. What a wonderful ceremony. All right, thanks a lot, Brendalise.